Getting those alchemy ingredients over the week may be annoying and extremely time consuming, but depending on the elixir you choose depends on the fortune that can be made. Welcome back to the series all about life skilling. My name is Teddy and today I'll be showing you how I make thousands of elixir of destructions and how much they can be sold for. So if you've been waiting for another elixir to make in hopes of leveling up alchemy, grab those alchemist clothes and let's start brewing up thousands of elixir of destruction. Despite the trace of hunt and snowfield cedar sap being extremely annoying to gather, if you're able to stockpile a good amount, it's easy to turn them into elixirs that can make a fortune when sold on the central market. The elixir of choice today is going to be the elixir of destruction. These elixirs are great for creating the master's medicine box, and for what I'm planning on using these for, the elixir of indignation to sell for a nice amount of silver. But how are these made and why are they so expensive? Just this ingredient alone can be time gated and the trace of hunting and snowfield cedar sap are the worst time gated ingredient needed. But to brew the elixir of destruction needs 1 oil of storm, 3 traces of hunting, 5 clear liquid reagents, 5 powder flame, and lastly 7 snowfield cedar sap. As a recap on how to get all the materials needed or if you just didn't know where to get them, let me show you how to gather them and where to go. Starting out the list is the oil of storms. This can be made by using one tyrant's blood, one old tree bark, one fruit of abundance, and one powder of time at any alchemy tool. If you want to see how much the oils can make, be sure to click the video in the top corner or the episode link will be in the description down below. These can also be bought from the central market if you choose, and as an added bonus, these can be produced as a byproduct when performing alchemy. Next on the list is the Trace of Hunting. These are a little harder to get with needing to send workers to the Lynch Farm Ruins node here, or the Glish Ruins node here. Heading out to Mushrooms and Centaurs has a small chance. The Lucario Sacks when completing Lucario. Alchemy Delivery Gift Boxes. And lastly, these can be obtained by completing the Dalishan's Bonus Alchemy Quest that can randomly pop when performing alchemy. These are a little harder to get off the central market, which can slow down how many can be bought. The clear liquid reagent is easy to make with using alchemy. This just needs one salt, one sunrise herb, one wild grass, and one purified water. These can be obtained for exchanging the mysterious catalyst or can be bought off the central market. Much like the oils, these have a chance of being obtained while performing alchemy too. Next on the list is the Powder Flame. These are the easiest powders to get with being obtained from the workers on the copper nodes. These can also be obtained while mining copper or sandstone. And lastly, these can be bought off the central market. The final ingredient on the list, and the most annoying one to gather, is the Snowfield Cedar Sap. These can be gathered using workers at the Windmill Perch node here, and the Jade Starlight Forest node here. These can also be gathered from the trees out here around Elton. If you can manage to get a pre-order, these can be bought off the central market too. Really fast, comment down below if you find getting the snowfield cedar sap is the hardest part of this or just making this in general is. I've been spending a week out here trying to get the sap and I've been struggling. While you're down there, be sure to leave a like if you've been enjoying all the life skilling updates Black Desert has been giving us. One more thing. If you want to come watch me gather all the ingredients needed or just want to ask me some questions, I'll be streaming on Twitch every Monday to Friday. It's a great way to just hang out and ask all those life scaling questions you might have. And don't worry if you happen to miss out, I go live on here every night around midnight too. But back into brewing up all the elixirs needed, I made sure to get the weekly quest from Liana and here is my mastery though, it's not gonna matter for me. I'll be using the plus 4 silver imported for the added experience instead and the trance tier for another 30% life skill experience. My goal is to make at least 2000 elixir of destruction but if I can't get enough I'll have to go out and gather more throughout the week. Throwing everything into the cauldron though, it's time to sit back and see what fortune will start to roll in. With each elixir valued at almost 300k a pop, even just making the 2000 I plan on will make me a lot in the end. Though if you have more sap than what I did, you can easily make a billion for almost nothing. After figuring out a better and easier way to get the snowfield cedar sap, making these aren't too bad, but it can still be time consuming with a lack of trees and having to keep taking the time to change channels. 
when I get through all these. I don't think I'll try and make these again because of just the hassle I went through. If you gathered truffles before, doing this is slightly less annoying with having to wait and gather, but this is a lot easier. If there are more on the central market, I would even consider spending the money on them, but that's not even an option. Do you guys make these for the medicine boxes? I know these can, but with how much they can be listed for, or just how much they can make when turned into the elixir of indignation, I don't think I would waste them on the boxes, but I could be wrong, and they could be a whole game changer. I wish there was a way for me to melt down weapons to get the trace of hunting though. I can't complain too much with being able to get these doing the bonus alchemy quests or the trace boxes sometimes awarded during the imperial deliveries. It's easier than the sap and sometimes I'm able to get these off the central market if I'm lucky. I should head out to Mentrums to check to see how many traces I can get in a session. I'm wondering if it's going to be a good way to supply the traces needed, or if it's going to be like every other grind area with the traces. You know, where you only get a couple traces if your item drop rate is as low as mine. After doing the grind to get the map pieces for the archaeologist map, I know I can get the money to buy the supplies, but getting them manually is a tad bit too slow for me as a life skiller. Eventually, I'll spend the whole day getting more knowledge so I can increase the item drop rate I get. Hopefully, that'll increase the amount of traces I can find while grinding. Maybe if I'm lucky, I can get another bonus quest for more traces or just one of those alchemy artifacts. I did get lucky and managed to enhance my mana's alchemist close to try, even though I'm still using my plus 4 silver imported for the added experience needed. I'm still master, and until I hit guru, I won't need to touch my mana's gear for brewing. But with the reduced alchemy time, it's been real quick getting all the elixirs made up, but now it's time to see how much all of this can be made when listed on the central market. Heading outside and putting these on the central market, I was able to make about 1,351,000,000. This isn't too bad for the elixirs, but for the whole process, I don't think I'll do that again. Now for the blue grid, I was able to make about 58.1,000,000, which isn't bad, but I'm going to use these for the elixir of indignations instead of the green grid. There are faster ways to level alchemy and make more money with it. This is not meant to be the best recipe guide or how to make the most money. This is just a fun way to show you how I level alchemy and make money while doing it. You should just enjoy the game at your own pace. I hope this helps you decide if heading out to gather the ingredients are worth it just with how much these can be sold for, or just how to make them for your own plans. I did like making more than 200 mil after spending nights on stream sap collecting, and if you want to see another way to level those life skills, or just want to see how to make more money in Black Desert Online, click this video here, and I will see you in the next episode where I'll finally stop wasting time and get those elixir of indignations made up and sold for a nice amount of silver.